told you he'd be back. Give me one of the few times where I literally just turn it off and turn it back on. Usually I try to. But I want to continue, damn it. Uh, Christian. You have business with the crystal ash. Same old, same old. Okay, before we do this, I actually do need to go back. I just realized um, for reasons. I'm going to see if I can turn down the air. I turned on the air conditioner. Which hopefully you can't hear. Because of settings. Wait, didn't we? Uh, is that here? Might help. Anyways, things are just looking weird, so make sure everything is correct. You can hear me well. Welcome, my friend. Tales of your heroism on the battlefield precedes you, though I confess I found them more gladdening than surprising. I hear no few of our people have you to thank for plucking them from the jaws of death. Would that they have not needed saving to begin with, but the responsibility for that lies with me. Uh, tell them about the message. I wonder if our soldiers said that. Thank you. Rest assured that I fully intend to continue our work. I will not shirk from what must be done. Now, the fall. Though I mourn the loss, I will not lose myself to grief, and even should regret be my constant companion. I will follow the path I have chosen to the end. You know what? We have some time. If you like to talk. I don't want to just stand here being bored. If I were to confess any doubts I am a Harlan, I wouldn't need you'd ever know. No. I believe you have enough burdens without my adding to them. Nevertheless, thank you. Voice acting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My friends, with your aid, we have weathered a brutal assault. Sorry I'm late, though I would not have been had anyone thought to notify me in advance. As I was saying, it was only with your aid that we weathered this assault. Without it, the Crystarium and all who dwell here would now be gone. For each we saved, another perished. If there is anything else we can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. This is our home too, and we want nothing more than to keep it safe. Thank you. We are blessed to have you with us. As for the attack itself, Vorthri may call it divine retribution, but Sin Eaters are creatures of instinct. A coordinated assault is unprecedented. Moreover, in the absence of a Light Warden, there should have been no compulsion for lesser Sin Eaters to congregate here en masse. All of which points to a single, unavoidable conclusion. 
that these minions of light answer to a higher power. He who did claim kinship with them, who did boast of control, not in idleness, twould seem, but in earnest. Indeed. What I mistook for bluster was in fact the truth. The Sin Eaters are his to command. But if he imagines this show of force will convince us to bend the knee, he is sorely mistaken. I take it you're me- Oop. You could say that, yes. But I am wiser for the experience, nevertheless. It appears he has mastered a technique which allows him to enslave the minds of others. A fact I discovered when he attempted to use it on me. And that would go some way towards explaining the peculiar reverence afforded him by his subjects. There may feasibly be a handful of true believers among them, I suppose, but it would not surprise me if the vast majority were in his thrall. Had I not anticipated his treachery, I might well have joined them. But seeing his invitation for what it was, I sent a glamour in my stead. I rather doubt such tricks will avail me a second time, however. Did you have any luck tracking down the Light Warden in Calusia? Sadly, I have nothing to report on that front. What of Arm Arang? After a fruitless few days scouring ruins, I resorted to asking the locals. While no one I spoke to had seen any sign of the Warden, I did uncover a possible lead. An abandoned mine in Western Arm Arang. From what the Maud told me, it would be a perfect place to stay out of sight. Of course, I could never hope to explore such a labyrinth quickly or safely on my own, so I returned here. Even should we all join in the endeavor, an exhaustive search could take weeks, and with no guarantee of finding anything. The Wardens harbor vast reservoirs of primordial light, do they not? Far beyond anything found in lesser Sin Eaters. And isn't it true that the Oracle could see the light of a Sin Eater from miles away? Surely a Warden would seem like a blazing beacon by comparison! To the real Oracle of Light, I mean. The real Menphilia. If we travel to Armoreng, to the south where she halted the Flood, I could summon her back. What do you think? Don't. Don't what? Do what I can. What we both know is right. Do not presume to know my mind. You have no idea what you're proposing. But I do! I know why you never said anything. Because you thought you could keep me safe by keeping me in the dark. And maybe I thought so too. But I knew, Thancred. I always knew. Oh, I see. I thought you were a rather underwhelming reincarnation, but it all makes sense now. The Oracle lies dormant within you, doesn't she? But to draw on her true power, you must become one, both body and soul. To wit, one being must consume the other. Who shall be the lucky winner? This doesn't concern you, Asian. But it plainly concerns you. Which is why your heart is ready to burst out of your chest. Despite the raging tempest in your bosom, however, you have never once opened up to your young charge. Now why would that be? Love. Well, I for one think it's a marvelous idea. Certainly more promising than any of your other suggestions. So, it's off to Armorang we go. I'll meet you at the gates.
This is why we don't trust you, Emmett. Because you're just constantly being a dick. Perfect society? Have you ever had something called empathy? Sorry it's being so assistant, but I know this is the only way. You're willing to give me a chance. Come with us. Yeah, Thankard loved the original Menphelia. still inside the crystarium. It's still faster to go out and just come back in. Hey, thank you for the Paul Pedakin. Pedakin. Sorry for the wait. I'm ready now. Do you want to do this? Like, completely sure. Look, no matter what happens to me, I'm sure I don't want to go back to who... don't want to go back to who I was. I want to be stronger. Strong enough to face my destiny. I want to believe that I can play a part in saving this world. I hope you can find it in your, yourself to believe it, too. Can you put it that way? How could we not? It is your decision to make. Just be sure that you are prepared when the time comes. If all are assembled, shall we depart? We'll follow your lead. What route would you have us take? About that, there's something I neglected to mention. I saw an Yamurin airship coming in to land over Armabrain while I was on my way back to the Crystarium. No doubt the same vessel that bore Valthry forces to Raktika. Meaning we should expect another armed resistance on our journey through the region. Right. So Nabatharang lies in the southern reaches of Amarang, and there are two routes that you can take to get there. The first is the eastern route, which would lead us past Mordsuk. The other is the western route, which would require us to pass through the hills of Amber. Minfili and I took the eastern route last time. Yes, that's the most well-trodden path. It also makes for easier traversal than Nabath's Nabath severance. But, we can't use it. If we did, we'd need to cross the Severance from a point nearby the end of Jodine's Head. If the Yolburans caught wind of, the, of our approach, it would very well bring them in contact with the inn and its patients. We would be sure, we can be sure their activities would not meet with Vossary's approval. It will make the journey more arduous, but I believe it will be safer to take the western round. Which brings me to my proposition. While we make for the hills of Amber in the, in the west, I will draw the Yomurans' their attention elsewhere, to an area in the east that I know to be uninhabited. That way, you have a chance of reaching Nabatharang unopposed and without risk to civilians. Hmm. I cannot deny that's a sound plan, but nor can I deny you go to go alone. My skills will make your task at least somewhat easier, do you not? I will accompany you as well. I will afford us a chance to have a proper conversation. And if I go with the others, I would like to say something sacred we regret. Yeah, whatever you should. Well then, 
That leaves the work of distracting Vault resource forces to you. The rest of us will take the western route and try to avoid attracting attention. With that in mind, I think it best that we follow the road from the br bridges. We'll move faster with the solid path under it. Far for a few Amaro for our own journey. I leave the rest to you, Mavilia. Thank you. I'll try not to disappoint. I like Lind. There you are. The gate leading to Armoring is just up ahead. Now, all the time I've been here, I've never ventured into the Hills of Amber. Not that I'm particularly intimidated by new lands at this point, but we have more than enough reasons to be cautious as it is. Keep an eye on Minfilia for me. Yes, Dad Crid. Off so soon, Master Windfall. Barely had time to recover from the battle. Yeah, but we have the certain things in the meringue. Well, if you're certain, I'm hardly in position to question you. Oh. Narration. Take comfort in the bonds you share. Accept the pain when the time comes to part. Press on. For joy and sorrow walk hand in hand. Beyond Mount Garik lie the hills of amber, beneath which run hidden veins of mineral wealth. Or ran, at least. Mayhap they are spent. Or mayhap the ringing of hammers can yet be heard below. So very soon I'll be able to buy an Amarang now that I've got access to this side. Oh, by the way, I'm 77 and the this first Amber Iguana is 76. It's one of the reasons why I couldn't get mine earlier. Besides the fact that I couldn't access <laughs> this area. Place has been scarred by the flood too. Who can say what lies ahead? But whatever else this road may be, it is mine to travel, and I don't plan to take a moment of time I spend upon it for granted. Aww. I have too many helms! That's an army address. Oh. That Never had my helm visible, but that's okay. I take it you're seeing, seeing what I'm seeing. Finding a village where there's hardly ten paces to the hills is a surprising stroke of luck, especially given our recent fortunes. But we don't won't hear any complaints from me. See if the folk who, who live here can tell us what to expect from the road ahead.
the mining. About stone. It's mortar. Or cobalt, take your pick. By the way, we haven't actually looked at the goblins. Actually, we might have actually looked at some goblins when we were included. You sell? No, no, you are not a merchant. But then, why do I know your face? Hmm. Oh, I remember. You spent Vobert gold. It's a coin purse cracking. Are a legend among more traders? You're a traveling merchant, then. Can you tell us something, anything about this village? Of course. Anything for valued customers. This place is Garik. Before the flood, it was home to many miners. After not so, ma after not so many. Now, none. So, Master Gengen borrowed the village, made it into a trading post. Very convenient location. In which case, you are or must be familiar with the local roads, correct? We're on our way to Navatharang ourselves. If you, if we continue south from here, will we have any difficulties reaching it? Oh yes, great difficulty. The flood rent the stone and crushed the mines surrounding Navatharang. Only steep cliffs and collapsed tunnels remain. Oh no. But surely there must be some way. Do you think any of the other mod might have some sort of hidden route? Perhaps. You ask, they tell. So for free, even, to friends of our best customer. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. Well then, best customer, let's see what information your reputation buys us. Your real real. You wish to go to Nabatharang, eh? There's a way once a gondola down down from the cliffs, but it was built for those who have left something behind that they wish to retrieve. Now there is nothing left and no one to use it. You may search for it if you like, but I doubt that its rusted wires would bear your weight. Gun gun. Well, Nabathering airship is best. Nothing's faster than an airship. Do you and Morris have one? I hear. I can ask them to take you. Ah, uh, that's all right. I think we'll pass on that. There's some stuff inside. Cool soul. Oh, that is a surprise. How many bound for Nabathering these days? I do know of a trolley that once went there. It used to travel between all the settlements and mines of the, of the hills. It is locked behind the gate, however. I assume that they will have kept it from being stolen or damaged, but it also prevents it from being of much use. Ah, yes, yes, I'm afraid I learned a little of use about how, how to reach Nabath Ring. The Yomuran presence, though, is another matter. Apparently, the, with their army is definitely in Amarang. There have been no sightings of Yomurans at all in the Hills of Amber. Perhaps we can take that as a sign that Alize's plan has borne fruit. Did you have any better luck finding us a route forward? Uh, well, we got a gondola, we got the trolley, and we got uh, airships. So these are our options. Well, what do you think? Uh, the gondola might die, but eh. Can we get an airship anywhere? Not from Vothry, obviously. Gate aside.
does seem to be the least risky of our options, and I can't imagine one gate is enough to thwart you. I'd like to know a bit more before we dash off in search of it. Perhaps Zunzun can offer some insight. Oh, value customer. Where are the other more of help? Well, kind of. We had this thing about the trolley. Of a fashion, they told us of a trolley that runs to Naboth Ring, at least. But am I correct in thinking there was a reason you did not do, do so yourself? When first we asked? Hmm, yes, the gate, you see, it's impassable. Before there was a hulking thing of stone, the talus had opened the gate. But none operate such a thing now. I do not even know if it even yet exists. I do not know, but I do not. But I should travel I travel east to Mount Beer and Mines. That's where the trolley control stand. I still see miners there from time to time. If anyone knows what happens to the Talos, it would be them. Thank you. Been a great help. Gone off to Mount Biran then. Let's hope that someone will be there to answer our questions. The scale of the track is impressive. I'll give him that. Now we only need to follow it until it comes to the mines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a little damage. Overmanning.
bit of a mess, isn't it? But the, the mechanisms of dis, uh, for displaying the trolleys are here, just as Zunzun said. Dispatching the trolleys, I think. Unfortunately, uh, anyone who might know how to use them is not. We must wait for Zunzun's mysterious miners to appear, or have a good look around and see if we can deduce anything useful in their absence. In favor of the latter. Something near the entrance of the mine appears caught Orianger's eye. Meet us there if you find anything. Hope is slightly warm and a fair amount of tea seeping over long. If the color is any indication, it means. So somebody's still here. Like some for us to adorn the rails, and they nevertheless appear sturdy enough to bear the trolley without issue. Temporarily. Ah, too far. Ah! They don't need as much speed. I think I got it right, though. Ah, there we go. Go. There we are. Gives me XP, so... Benches uh, within suggest that this might have been a passenger car. Oddly enough, though, it is clearly old. It appears to be well maintained. In other words, they are here. They're just. Aaron and Jay, can you help me out with these coyotes? I guess not.
Ask us what hast thou discerned. Well, based off of I can see people have been here. I see indeed thine observation are consistent. Oh. And let us refrain from further discussion now um, uh, our comrades arrive. Ample evidence of recent maintenance and lukewarm teas, besides. Levis for switching tracks. Looks like they, they were in good condition, though I couldn't move them myself. No ordinary person could, I think. It is my belief that no person meant to. This talus bears more of a... A passing resemblance to golems of the source. As nor doth it appear to be the sole example of its kind. The proliferation of, of Talos fragments, as well as the enormity of the mechanisms here, suggests a considerable number of once in operation. Alas, the specimen and its fellows now lie, lie lifeless and broken. I know not how to repair them, and that they might facilitate our passage. And without the aid of the Talos, maybe... Even if thou wert somehow able to unbar the trolley's path, we would still have no means of propelling it. We might not know how to repair the talus, but someone must. Otherwise, why keep everything else in working order? Whoever is maintaining the cars and rails must know something we don't. Let us ask them what it is, then, shall we? As goes, I do believe you'll find a person of some instrument skulking in the shadows behind the warehouse on the northwest side of the tracks. While well, you two have a friendly chat, friendly chat, the rest of us will gently encourage those to the south to come out of hiding. Find yourself as necessary, of course, but do not try to keep everyone in one piece. Off we go, then. The three of us will take care of one side while well, you take care of the one. <laughs> take the care of the other. Think about being a warrior of light. You're superior to everybody. Aggering everything. Oh, hi there. Hey, I got a few questions. What good white. Where did you come from? No, never mind that. You have no business here for that, I'm sure. Oh, come on. Here, did I knock some sense into you? Ow, 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 you're pulling me by the ear. No, oh, it did. Oh, come on, man. Look, we just wanted to talk. We weren't here trying to fight. Now, tell me. Going on here. Look, you struck first. Just want to say. Good to hear. These two weren't much trouble either. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. Us, uh, so we're not the brigands. We're not the brigands come to to take that. What is us? Do not the brigands come to take what isn't ours? Do we honestly look like we need we'd need to steal but some rusted bits of iron? Don't be absurd, we're not here to rob you. Luckily, so you look well. You don't look normal, that's for certain. You don't have any wares. You're clearly not merchants. Travelers never pass this way. The only reason you would come all this way out here is to strip the machinery for parts. 
Oh, Tyfi, I have an idea. What if, once upon a time, a lovely lady of noble birth ventured forth in search for a lost love, joined by her two most loyal servants sworn to her upon onto world's end? On its journey, we met a sorcerer, an ancient, an ancient as time itself. Moved by the lady's devotion, she offered, she offered to be their guard, and they turned up here somehow. I can only assume that you have been intensely obtuse, but in the unlikely event that is serious conjecture, no, I suppose I am a bodyguard of sort, but we have never, we rather larger concerns in fairy tale romances. Though it would fain hear more of this ageless source, broke deep. God's court me speaks. <laughs> Um, if I may, we're actually searching for a means of which to travel to the about the rain. We're hoping the trolley here might might offer a solution. I realize we haven't gotten off to the best of sorts, but if you know anything about how we might get it working again... Trolley. Trolley. You should have led with that! We've always been keen to discuss the trolley! We've, we're both engineers in training, in fact. Jerk and Thaf at the service. Technically, I'm a miner, and he does repair work, but our true passion is the trolley. We're working with a few other folks to get it up and running again. Before you ask, yes, it's true. There's a little, there's little in need of transport the, these days, but there's no reason to consign a miracle of mechani mechanical innovation to dust. Mere sight of traveling down the track once again would make heart sore, mark my words. Hear no argument from us? What progress have you made thus far? As much as we'd like, truth be told. Well, if there's anything we could do to assist, we could gather materials and help put pieces together. It's a sight more complicated than that, I'm afraid. If you spoke with Magnus, you'd understand. He's the only one with full knowledge of the trolley's operation. I suppose you could speak with him if you'd like. We'll introduce you. Very well, our options are limited, and if this Magnus can explain whatever is pre preventing the trolley from being restored, I'd like to hear it. Right, looks like we'll be following us back to Twine then. Half of three did guide you to Twine, where you might meet the mysterious Magnus. Whatever that you, you can leave right now. Though, so, haven't seen another fellow around here, have you? I thought he would come out by now. Oh yeah, he's unconscious over there. You think he'll be alright, <laughs> sir? Well, I suppose you did force your hand. <laughs> I'll have a look, just in case. Go on ahead, Taff. Alright, looks like it'll just be you, you lot and me then. Well, not to let anyone take a bite out of you on the way out of the yard. Look, I don't have flying yet. I can't, I shouldn't hop on my yawl. This is one of the things that bugs me about games is even when about games with mounts is if you have mounts that fly and you have mounts that they are literally grand mounts, like chocobos are Really ground mounts is just that when you give the ability to fly, you can fly. I mean, they're they're like ostriches. They can't fly. They're they're land birds. Um, but then you have it, when you can't fly. It makes sense. They're 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 fine. You know, you get on a horse or something like that. You know, but when people are in a place where they can't fly and they're on a bird and they can't go they can't fly 
They're just moving around. It is technically flying a few feet above the air. This is not of a use for a flying creature, such as a bird or even a dragon, which when on the ground will do the walking, but it's got these wings. It looks really awkward. I don't understand why people enjoy that. So whenever I go around, I have two mounts, one for if I'm flying and one for when I'm not. This happens in Final Fantasy XIV. If it's a place where you can fly, it doesn't matter what mount you're on. Even if it's a ground mount, it will still fly. All right. Uh, really? And that small. Did he have to thump me so hard? It was feeling that there was next fortnight at least. Not to be done about, about that now, though. I pointed uh, uh, over eager companions to the right direction. They've gone on ahead, so you need to get moving. Normally, we walk along atop the tracks, but seeing as the young lady has a much shorter stride, it's more perilous the route than I comfortably suggest. Wouldn't want anyone falling through the gaps. Of course, the low road presents uh, other dangers, but having been on the receiving end of your friend's blows, I'm not worried about that. Out. Again. Wait a moment. I think I hear something. Oh, that's something. All right. Run! Uh oh. Sorry about that. I, mean, I didn't expect that route to be quite so fraught with danger. We're nearly to twine though, so we should make it without further incident. I would have just rather taken that, the rails. Also, I like how they talk about, about Mephilia stride when I'm much smaller than Ugh, <sighs> me. Hey. 
Okay, cool. Hold on, before I do this. Hold on. Four. There we are. Gun breaker. Thanks. Get back to Mug. Uh, I wonder. Can't play it. Actually, hold on. I decided I want to go back to a different look. We are. Awesome. Three more and a couple of things. This is it. Welcome to Twine. The only the original submarine was built to house these those laborers tasked with building the track. Over time, miners came to seek their fortunes, and that's what made the town grow to what you see before you today. But it's still the tro trolley that has brought them here. But doubtless notice the track goes to the very heart of the town. It was the heart of the town, back when the trolley still carried everyone home at the end of each day in the mines. Now, there is no, now there is no trolley, nor much work to be had in the mines, for that matter. The only residents that remain are the destitute, the delusional... And those with nowhere else to go, or so they say. That should give you some indications what to expect when you meet magnets. As you, as I said, it will help you understand why we can't get the trolley running. Just don't expect too much, from, much aside from that. Well, that's encouraging, but I don't see what I see that we have much of a choice. Go meet the man. I want to say there's some voice acting here. Nope, there isn't. Who are you supposed to be? Never seen that. If oh, the four of you, we get white. You're going to bother me at least out the damn cut to see this. And still, thinks this one is deep in his cups.
These are my guests, Magnus. Uh, we run into them at the mines. They're looking for a way to reach Naboth Orang. So we came to ask about the trolley, you see. What? There's nothing in Naboth Orang. Not anymore. And especially not for Freya little girls. Give it up. No, I must reach Naboth Orang. I must. Ah. Do you have your heart set on it? The world doesn't care. This is ruined. Nothing more. And you're not getting there in the trolley. The thing doesn't run in hopes and dreams. We're not fools. The necessity that drives us to Navathorang. We insist that the trolley is not an option, and they tell us why. No. I'm sick of people asking me about the blasted thing. Leave me be. Speak outside. He only said that because, because he thinks I'm weak. Right, but I can't be. I won't be forever. It has to be some way. I must find it. Oh, I'm sorry, I was stuck in my head again. It's clear that Magnus has no intention of helping us, but perhaps we should ask the other residents. They may know something about the trolley. I'll take the north side of the town. Let me know if you learn anything. Then Crid thou art truly content to stand witness to the fate's course and take no part. This isn't a matter of fate, Oriange. It's about choice, and I've had years to decide where I stand. And Philia spent too long in chains already. I would not shackle her again by making her my hopes. It is for her to choose what shape her destiny will take. It is for me to stay silent. Protect her, teach her, and stand by her. That, at least, I can do for her. So be it. Come, let us make our own inquiries. Well, Jarek, he's always talkative. Oh, there you are. I'm pleased to know that I got my f her friend back home with no trouble, and he's just fine. He's a bit shaken up at all. And you, what did Magnus have to say? Well, he's kind of uh, deep in his cups. Ah, I did, uh, did have faint hope that your need might prompt into action where our interest was, was not, but I suppose you're, that was foolish of me. I'm sorry that we couldn't be of help, though. I could at least show you the trolley car we have we have here, if you'd like. You give it a stroke or two, it's very small. That's fine. You mean to say you're not giving up, even knowing that Magnus is Magnus? I don't see much point in our, your, your being stubborn about it, though perhaps stubbornness is exactly what the situation calls for. Get for giant without an anvil left. I can't imagine that anything you try will work, but if you're certain, you can help me make preparations in the event that it does. In the end, take this toolbox. We're going, to, we're going to inspect the rails. I'll have a look along the rails for anything that need repair. You bring the tools and be hand, ready to hand them to me whenever I stop to work. You open the box, revealing the proud array of lovingly maintained tools within. Brilliant. Now, if you hand me what I need to work, it will be help. In this case, hmm, well, this bolt is loose with no one manner. You can, we can have that. You need to tighten it. A mid-size wrench.
Thank you. This one will do nicely. Now, give me one moment and... There, I don't see any other problems here. Let's continue down the track. That toolbox is as big as me. Quite handy to have around, you know. As for the lamp here, it doesn't, these aren't often necessary these days, but if we're going to do this, we might as well do it properly. And if by some miracle the night returns in Lakeland, maybe that's a nice, well, it's a nice thought. Anyhow, a bit of this post seems to be splintered. Whether it's lamp is to be lit or not, we wouldn't want those little pieces of wood jabbing the next person who go comes through to get to me maintenance. I'll need to send it down a bit. For a file. Yes, wood files are perfect. Let me even this out. That should do it. I'll give it some varnish along next time to finish the job. I haven't spotted any other problems, so we can move along now. Thus, we'd like to take in the view of the tracks from here for a bit longer. Breathtaking, I know. Mine has always been the primary vocation of the folks in the hills of Amber, you see, but with a certain point, we have dug up everything that could easily be reached and carried back by manpower alone. But then, it was then that the number of the empire struck upon the, the idea of the Talos, of, which, had seen at, which they had seen at work abroad. The great expense that Amber brought the mystical engineers who specialized in Talos here to the hills. And once you know it, the mining industry picked right up, up again. The mine itself sprung up around that time, as a matter of fact. It was named after the, ent the Entwining of Tales, fruitless cooperation between the, the native Ronzo and the newly become Mistal. But that, like so much else, fell apart in the wake of the flood. The mist had left taking their knowledge with them. It was 15 years ago that the last of them, the folks from Daedalus Stoneworks, took off for Yulmore, and now no one remains that can repair the operate, uh, and operate the talents. But there's no use in lamenting what can't be changed. There's one more thing we need to do when we're well out here. So we might as well get to it. Vultures occasionally make their nests on the tracks, you see, and it falls to us to remove them whenever they do. The creatures are angry when disturbed, which is natural, but nevertheless a danger to anyone passing by. Not my favorite task, to be honest with you. As you may have noticed, I'm not terribly suited to confrontation. That said, would you follow the tracks north and uh, remove any nests you find for me? Keep an eye on things from here.
Thank you. That should be everything taken care of. In the return for your help, I'll tell you a bit more about the trolley. Nothing that can get it started again, though. As I said, the only people who knew how to repair the towers had long gone. When they, when they left, the life began to bleed out of the town. Trolley, trolley's tracks rusted and its cars fell into disrepair. Now, I was born in Twan. Raised here, my first word, trolley. Damn it, those were the first years of mine. Then, about seven years passed, Magnus's wife returned. Magnus is a real proper trolley engineer, and perhaps he would never have left in the first place if it hadn't been for his son. As you are well aware, Armorang is hardly the safest place, and Magnus wanted his child to grow up away from his dangers. It didn't help in the end, but they need to scout the boy. Isn't that always the way? Charles always said that someday he wanted to see Magnus' drawings running again. So in his memory, they returned to Trine, started fixing these rusted rails and broken cars. And it was going well for a time. Wicked White, Walters. Back for revenge? Never mind. I don't want to find out. Okay, Derek, you, you, you need to finish your story. Ahem, uh -huh. nice work out there. And now, you know the story of the trolley. Won't you be do you much good without the talus, though? There's even a single one that... There is even a single one that still functions. Things might be different. But, well, you yeah. are. Not that it'll do you any good, but we do have a talus that's meaning to... That we've been meaning to repair. I can show you if you'd like. It'd certainly be nice to hear something other than Meng scraping for a change. Truly a most vexing state of affairs. I thought mayhap a close examination might yield something of value. Exposition about Magnus. The means to build towers stone by stone is lost to us, tis true, but here for us numbers the most fine specimen. Indeed, were it not for a minor f few minor failings, it would be in working condition. Would likely require not but a few modest repairs and a suffusion of ether. Well, if you think you can get the thing up and running again, far be it for me to stop you, but what exactly do you reckon is the problem? I would stress that I have performed only the most cursory of examinations, though such arcane constructs are not wholly unfamiliar to me, as I I did suspect from the first there is a host to a network of veins through which ether fr floweth freely. Or so it would, were it not for several fractures that now impede said flow. How in the hells did you get all that from just a glance? I take it that you thought put up a solution as well, then? To bridge these feathers require a material highly conductive to ether. As once in place, I believe it is possible to restore the talus to life. Might I prevail upon thee to acquire what that which we require? Not far beyond the walls of Twine dwelleth the creature of living stone, the debitage. Debitage. Well, well, sure am I that stone, as much of, from such a being, will prove most suitable for our needs. 
Mm, very good. I shall have Thankrim and Vilya attend me in the beam inspiration. I spy but three obstructions in the flow of ether and the Talos, and thus would I ask you to provide three stones of the debitage. All else will be made ready upon thy return. Look, the Talos running, which means we could get the trolley running. Can't fly yet. For it. Well, my poor friends left to eat by horrid beasts. I feel ter terrible about running away, but what choice did I have? No point in us all being killed now, is there? Finding someone to go in and retrieve the bodies that mean rescue them would, would absolve me of the blame. If you would go to the ruins of Kelk to look for two more scavengers, I would be very grateful. I'm alive? Yeah, can it be true? It was too early to celebrate. The youngest Fargrave is still missing. Could you please find him? I will wait for you outside the ruins in case you need help finding whatever is left of the boy, poor boy.
Me death and Kurt. Ooh, does that count as near death experience? I can't wait to tell my friends. Oh, but first, we should make a hasty retreat. Yes. I cannot thank you enough for saving us, but how did you know we were here? Oh, this other guy near uh, Twine told me. Turning you away turned out to be the best choice. Not only did he escape, but he said for help, too. If you had tried to res rescue us himself, you would probably all be dead by now. Better to run and scavenge another day, yes? I must remember to thank him. Okay. Again, intro to a slightly other quest line. Also, I wonder. Nope, it's up there. I know I'm taking a couple detours, but that's okay. You know what? I want to fly. So these are important detours. And since I'm gathering a little bit of XP here and there, it will help me ma maintain my... One or two level alignment from uh Hey, remember this? Take a look at this. It's more Zook. That pesky Aether current we didn't get to. That was right in the face of it. All right, so there's two more to find. It's going to be like down in this area and then basically where we're trying to be heading. So as, as part of this. So as for picking up, we're down to just two more for that. And we've got three more quests. But. One of them is MSQ quest. Two of them will be um, quest. But to uh, make this part a little bit easier, I can just teleport back to Twine. Then go back to my because the one that's level seventy-seven. I believe the side quests, all the side quests are all level synced, so they sync to your level. So you have to be at least at level 70, but then any of the counters you get or the rewards you get is based off of what level you're at. So I could technically do any of the side quests on any of my... Anger and Bifilia will return ere long, but the remaining supplies will be required. Didst thou succeed in procuring stone for the defetage? Find specimens, one and all. You have my thanks. We now will wait for Thanker and Bifilia. I think there's some VO. I could be wrong. 
Nope. From end to end, the paths of which Aether may flow through the Talos have been duly mended. They but require a sufficient... It's not moving. Strange. The core re refuses to stir. I fear the condition of the Talos is more dire than I previously surmised. As a heart driveth blood through a man's veins, so doth the core ether through the massive frame. Fiddling its repair or placement, the Talos cannot be removed. So it was the heart after all. Thou didst foresee this outcome? Well, no, not exactly. We, we've never gotten this far in trying to repair it, so we had no way of knowing the, fl the heart was the real problem. We tried to find another, in case things turned out, to, out as they are now, but... Jarek? It isn't really my story to share. Please, Jarek, if something went wrong, maybe we can help. All right, all right. For all you lot have done for me, I suppose it's the least I could do. Right then. Talos, their hearts, cannot be made of just any stone. You need a special sort of sufficient ethereal, ethereal conductivity. Both it and the other materials used in the construction of the Talos bodies are mined in the same place. A place, of course, being here, the Lamba. But that was three years ago when she... No, no, I can't. I'm sorry, but you'll have to hear it from Thaf or someone else. So the tavern, then. Still here, eh? You can ask him, but the answer's the same. I'm sure these are... God, what? Goddamn jerk. Could have at least finished so we wouldn't, wouldn't have to clean up your mess. Things how you made such a quick progress in fixing that talus and all. He is probably thinking that he could help change things around here. But I think he may be right. Gather your friends and I'll tell you what you want to know. Greatest prospector there ever was. When the golem heart started failing, she was the first to head out in search of more. Problem was, most of the veins ran dry ages ago, and finding fresh ones to tap's only gotten harder. But she wasn't one to be deterred. She just kept digging deeper and deeper. And then the mine collapsed. We labored day and night to clear away the rubble, but it took us two months to find her. To find her body. Magnus has never been the same since. Out to the sin eaters and life to the damn mine. Where is he, if you don't mind my asking? Ah, yes, well, if he's not here, there's only one other place he'd be. What? Oh, you again. 
again. How many times must I tell you? The trolley won't run! We'd be better off dismantling the damn thing and selling the parts for scrap. Now piss off back to wherever you came from. And don't let me catch you around here again. What were their names? My son was named Skuli. My wife, Agna. Being here with them, it beats going home. Home stopped being home when I lost them. I thought to try and drown my sorrows, but somehow, the bottle's never deep enough. No bottle is. Believe me, I know. You've lost someone too. Not like you. Not my own flesh and blood. I grew up an orphan, so I never really knew what family meant. Not until I met a man who offered to take me in and make me his pupil. He was a kindly soul, always looking out for me, like a father. Not that I appreciated that at the time, or anything else for that matter. But I finally had a family. And then... And then I robbed a young girl of hers. I did my best to make amends, to offer her comfort. But the more I look back on it, the more I realize just how inadequate my efforts were. I let her down. That is why I refuse to let her legacy die. In the end, all we can do is press on for those we have lost, for those we can yet save, and that requires your Talos. Please, Magnus. You are our only hope of reaching Nabath Areng. <laughs> what rubbish. She's not gone. No matter what you say or believe, she's not. We can still bring her back. He's not saying anything because it's not his, his his decision to make, as he said. Full well do I know the pain of loss and how heavily it can weigh on one's heart. Alas, there is but one way forward. We must needs procure a new heart for the Talos. Thief. 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 Thiefy. Knowest thou any location where might we find the stone we require? No matter how scant the possibility, we will seize it. I told you now, all the veins of Tapnu tried years ago. Though I suppose if you really want to try, you can find you may find something at Nuvi's leavings. It was opened well before Talos became commonplace, which is why the mining there is never quite as deep. When you get there, look for just just on, and tell him I sent you. Don't be surprised if he tells you the same thing. Thine assistance is most appreciated. 
As a ghost, I think it's best then could join thee in the suit. Though he would be quick to deny it, his heart is in turmoil, thoughts clouded. It would be unwise to ignore his dis oh, I did it again. My right, bud. Here's Thankred. Thankred. Mm. Oh, jeez. I haven't had any caffeine today, and I've been caffeine the past few days. Off to somewhere, are you? Yeah, we're going to see if we can find a new heart. At last, leading the stone, we need to power the talus. Can't very well have you go on your own. Either way. What do we got? I've got a weapons coffer. I think I've got space for my weapons. Ooh. Weapon. Bronze fist. See what these weapons look like. Yeah, that's the brass knuckles I'm looking for. I'd say it would long overdue for a good turn. I only hope the gods feel the same way. No, Nubius leaving so it was in the south, was it? Let's get going. Hey, guess what? It's for Oscar. Rondo, I think they call him in the first. Has something. Which, hold on. Yeah, we'll stick with a gunbreaker. Have you seen a charm like this before? I found it amongst the stones front for the mind. A lot of workers wear these for good luck, and I expect whoever lost it is wondering where it went. It is the first time I've seen one made from cat's eye. So the owner shouldn't be hard to track down. I'd go and look for them myself, but I've got too much to do here. Would you be able to go to my place? If the graveyard keeper is quite knowledgeable about charms and whatnot, so it might be worth asking you. Oh, in my place. Well, what's that you have there? Ah, yes, castle charms like these are once used to ward off misfortune. The tradition began with the Church of the First Light, and the gem represents their patron deity. Even though no one knows the old religion anymore, some of its customs, especially among the miners. We don't see many of this exquisite, though. I seem to remember the fellow with an eye patch might be a some of the charm around his neck might even be the exact same one. Never called his name, but he's not hard to miss. The last one I saw, saw him, he was leaving to mine newly leavings with some of the others. Hey, guess where, where I'm going? And yay, we're probably going to get lag because uh, the sound is weird for some reason. Oh. All right. Go on. Maybe a good weekend. I know it's only been like the first few hours of a Saturday. I got some D and D later.
Ah, oh, fine, D&D. Uh, it's unclear what's happening to You have bears and dragons tomorrow. As for the topic for tomorrow, I'm not allowed to. Well, that makes things weirder. Ah, there we go. Oh, I didn't notice you there. What do we want? Where'd you get this? I was in a bunch of stuff. Oh, how could I have been so careless? This was all my sister left at home before she... Look, I'd rather not talk about it, but I appreciate you bringing this back to me. It's a lot. New quest meeting. Back. Pretty sure both unlock quests happen over here. The way we, you described it is expecting the place to be abandoned. Perhaps our fortunes are fully improving, but we prob probably hear what Guthron has to say before we celebrate. Assuming you can find him, that is. Hmm? Who are you? What are you doing here? Yeah, we're looking for Talos things. Well, you should have listened to Thief. Wasting your time. The site is not as developed as the others. Did not? Surely there must be something else left. I should explain. The stone you're looking for is Leonine. Mm. All the Talos in the hills of Amber are powered using. Or were, at least. Anyway, whatever is left, if anything, is too far below to be safely excavated. In the deepest reaches of the mines, you'll find we use talos to keep the passageways from collapsing. Still there, but to, but they can they could give out at any time, which is why most of the mine is closed off. Then our only option is to search the higher levels for any fragments for leaning that maybe may have been overlooked. Hmm. Suppose there may be one other way. Well, don't leave us in suspense. What you're asking is a trade secret. I'll need to be duly compensated in exchange. Fine, what do you want? The other day I found a Volbert gold piece down in the mines. I eat Volbert gold pieces. A piece. And I, wouldn't you know it, I dropped the damn thing somewhere while I was working. Find it, and I'll tell you what you want to know. You drive a hard bargain, sir. But we'll take it. It seems we have our work cut out for us, I suppose. Thankfully, you have an idea on how we might hurry things along.
As I'm sure you notice, despite your best efforts to illuminate the corridors, it's rather dark in here. And it, it will be that much harder to find a single coin hiding in the shadows. That's why I propose we use these, sun drops. They help the eye take in more light. Why don't you st start your search further in, and I'll handle this area here. Retrace your steps after, after in case you happen to miss If you feel the drops affecting where you're off, I can give you more. Don't worry. And it. I was hoping he dropped his gold piece somewhere closer to the entrance, or fool me of thinking Lady Luck was on the side. Or maybe she is, yours at least. In the end, my contribution was little more than poor company. I don't know if I create you or for more prepared for this last time. No more than usual, I tell you. I only managed to survive the Kothan wilderness and the Imperial capital by virtue of extensive preparation. Habit of mind since childhood and one few positive traits which you did need to buy. It hasn't been easy finding ways to compensate for my... Every tool and trick it has proven vital in my... Such a thing. Had I chosen to pursue the arcane arts rather than espionage, well, I'd rather... Upon. So long as I have the means to protect the, those dear for me and see my d duties through, that's all that. Now, let's hurry and see, the, see that return to Gustron. The sooner we get back to your Orionje and Nvidia, the better. Go back. Wait, does that mean? Here's a Robert girl, please. I'll be damned. You actually found it! Well, the deal's the deal. I don't think it means that you'll find what you're after. To be honest, I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you did, and I'm a man of my word. Come with me.
Right light. Every time I step out of these mines, the sky seems to get brighter. They will leave them in the air. Oh. Leave them if the air went so stale. But we're not here to uh, come to hear my grievances. You're after lean on me. First, I have to ask, have you ever heard of wimps? Knockerums. I know them by another name. They are certainly, I'm fairly certain the locals call them knockers. Aye, that they do. Whatever you want to call them, these little bastards, maybe they answer to your troubles. They can fit through cracks and crevices down where you would never hope to reach. And on occasion, they come back with something valuable. They dug up, dig up Leonie in the mines? It's a rare occurrence, but yes. That said, it usually amounts to no more than a few flakes. Well... Our only other option sounds tantamount to suicide, so how can we draw out these rockworms? Over by that shack, you'll find a bag full of smoke bombs. Let off a few in the mines, and you'll flush them out in no time. Once you're out in the open, knock them senseless and check their backs. I should warn you, this method of... Mining, if you would ever call it that, is used as the last resort on account of what little there is like to come back. You'll want to cover as much ground as you can if you hope to find anything of value. Assuming you do find something, bring it back here and I'll have a look. We should split up if we're to cover more ground, as he suggests. If you can cover these three areas of, the, of your map, I'll see to the parts between. That too quickly. Or not, lag.
Yay, leg. And we exit the mine. There you are. Find anything promising? I got these. Between the two of you, I'd say you've got quite a haul. Let's get comfortable, friends. It's going to take some time for me to sift the world. Prior to founding the Path of the Twelve, long before the Scions, she was something of a miner. After her father died, Flamine took her in and taught her the trade. I think they were both seeking to fill the void left by a loved one. Maybe that's why she took to it so readily. Back in those days, I spent most of my time in the quicksand or some other tavern, loosening tongues and gathering secrets. Occasionally, I'd catch a glimpse of her in the street, on her way home after another hard day's work. 
I always felt a wave of relief when I saw she'd come back safe. Along with a pang of guilt at the fact I wasn't there to support her as I should have been. Simply speaking with her more than once in a blue moon would have been a good start. But I could never bring myself to do it. Instead, I threw myself into my work and became every drunkard's best friend. I imagine she thought too highly of you back then? Not too highly, no. She once called me a wine-sodden wharf rat, which wouldn't have been half as galling had it not been so accurate. But that was a lifetime ago. Here and now I have another chance to do things right, and I will not squander it again. Hey! Come and see what I've found! <laughs> You're not going to believe this! Tell me it's Leonine. It is at that. You lot were born lucky. It's mostly broken pieces. But look at this. This is a rather fine specimen. It's been decades since we found anything approaching this big. But that's not all. There's an engraving on it. Ah, these scratches here. They're a little hard to make out. To my beloved Magnus and Schooley. Yes! Do you see? It was a gift to Magnus from his wife. She found it. She really found it. She must have spent her final hours carving this message into the stone, in the hope that he might see it one day. Those rock-backed bastards must have made off with it before we could clear a path to her. It's fate that brought you here to find this stone. No other explanation. It makes me wonder what else might still be buried in these parts. Aww, so sweet. I don't want to die. I wouldn't believe it had I not seen it for myself before you said it to it in the Talos. You take it to Magnus. For three long years, as you believe she died for nothing. Has know the truth that her sacrifice was not in vain. We'll take it to, straight to him. You have my word. Thank you, Gothron. For all your help. Right then, let's not keep everyone waiting. Take a look, a quick look at. Yep. Okay. Further down. Now this is all the way back at Twine, right? And I believe we have another Ethiker quest. Uh, what am I trying to do? Twine! Holy teleport! I'm going to quickly refresh my beverage. We're going to continue this for a little bit longer. Oh, we got to have her. Be right back. I'm going to refresh my beverage. Two minutes.
All right, and we're back. A oh, horther has something. Hey, perhaps you could help me. As you would no doubt notice, most of the twins miners are Runzo. There's a mistral that, though. You're only one of his kind in the town. His name is Kitsat. A bit of a loner, always digging by himself in places where we'll be likely to find a few lumps of coal. Never mind gems inside. I often ask him why he doesn't mind the same spots as the rest of us, but he never gives me a proper answer. Dare say he would be more inclined to speak with an outsider. If you would get the truth out of him and see if anything is the matter, put it my mind at ease. Uh, this is also another breadcrumb crust. A traveler, eh? What do you want from me? Good. Mine at other places. Uh, what's up? reason? I could find a couple lumps of coal. Is that what he said? There's some he knows. On the other hand, it might be better uh, but you on the other hand, might be a better audience to my master plan. You ever heard of an alloy called Nabathium? It's strong, light, and resistant to heat and friction. It was one of the most valuable metals in Nabatharang and a lot and a lot of the jewelry was made of the stuff. Trouble is, techniques for mixing the alloy have lost in the flood. I've been looking for a way to make my own. My search led me to a scroll that explains the methods, right down to the last detail. But after a historian, a after having an historian decipher, I learned that I lacked one vital ingredient: rubid, rutabite. That's what I'm digging for. Heard of venturing into the empty one. My best, my next best option is to look for a vein here in Amarang. Of course, I'd stand a much better chance of finding one if I had help, but I'd rather not have to rely on anyone for, from around here. Some of the Ronzo miners take exception to the fact that I'm mistal. They seem to think that I'm not built for this kind of work. I find that ribotite, see how wrong they are. Hmm. You know, this is the first time I've said more than, than about two words to anyone in a while. But I feel better getting that off my chest. Might be a bit sudden, but I have an idea. How would you like to see the mo moment I finally unvert, unearth the vein of ore? Well, what I really mean is that I need somebody there to act as witness. Otherwise, the others might think I ought to brought a lump of, of it somewhere and ludicrously expensive as it is, pretending to have dug it myself. Will you do me this favor? Well, thank you. Luckily, I found the perfect spot for the next dig. My miner's hunch is correct. The ore should be waiting just below the surface. It's in Luvi Leavings, so I'll wait for you there. Back to where it just was, and this quest was just unlocked. Hey, doing that.
Phew. I'm glad that's over. How am I supposed to concentrate on my work when all these creatures disturbing me? I certainly know how to handle myself, though. You certainly know how to handle yourself, though. That fiend never stood chance. I dread to think that it would happen if I had shown up, uh, hopefully, I had shown up, hopefully, nothing else will try to get between me and my dream. Many thanks, my friend. All right, back to Twang. I just did it to get the Aether Curt, not for the breadcrumb. Feel like this should have some voice over. For a second. It should, though. Oh, man, come on. What? You? If you come to complain about the troll, you find no sympathy for it. Hold you before. It won't run. Oh, but it will. Now that we have this. Your name is engraved on it, along with your son's. The gift from your wife, Magnus. But Magna. No. No, she couldn't have. Magna. Take it. Do with it what you will. Are you certain? It would delay our plans, but... I would... I said take it. It was you who found it. You who needs it. Looking at that stone, all I can see is... Please, just leave me be. I hope you'll be there when the talus stirs to life. I'm sure she'd want you to see. Would you do the honors with delivering this to Ariange? Ugh. Give me. Ah, uh, to return. It's Leonine, it would seem. As promised, the talus has been made ready to receive its heart. Thanks in no part to Jerick, Chief, and Minfield. At last, we shall return time to the timeless, the sentinel stone that we may pass on toward Nabotharang. Very good. Now let us begin. And the heart hath been suffused with a sufficient quantity of ether. The golem should be restored to life. All right then. Whenever you're ready. It's working! It's working! I love Jarek's face. He's like mouth wide open. <gasps> Magnus! left 
me for this? This wretched heap of stone and rubble? This worthless pile of earth? And yet... I can't... I can't... What trouble is thee, child? I shouldn't be here. I don't deserve to be. I don't deserve any of the things you've done for me. I'm just a burden. Helpless and hopeless. If tomorrow came and I was gone, it would be better for everyone. Thancred most of all. He'll never admit it, but I can see it in his eyes. I wish he'd just say it. Just say that he hates me. That he wishes I was dead so that she could return. None of this is thy doing, child. Twas I who set the Oracle on her path unto the first. I who condemned you all to suffer these torments. Tis my sin alone, and one that will haunt me unto my dying day. Yet I dare not dwell over long on my many regrets, for the world is a tapestry of fates, interwoven and inseparable. And we who strive to better it cannot choose but make difficult decisions. For naught of worth was ever achieved without sacrifice. And thus must man ever struggle to weigh life against loss. The one for whom thou mournest beareth no grudge. Were she here, she would not suffer thee to languish in sorrow. She would tell thee to seek thine own path, thine own purpose. It is a truth which I myself was slow to learn. Yet a truth it remaineth. Thou needst but have faith, have faith, and all will be well. You know, worth for her. Not today. Meanwhile, in the Crystarium. To what do I owe the pleasure that is your extended stay? Oh, to the tediousness of our hero's present endeavors. That and the insufferable abundance of light in Armoreng. I should be glad to keep my distance. Oh, 
I'm rather fond of sleep, you know. It's a wonderful way to pass the time. Not that my compeers will agree, mind you. Always on the move, the lot of them. Like La Hebrea, constantly jumping from vessel to vessel. Such fire, such determination. So much passion, fleeting and forgotten. Come to think of it, Exarch, I don't believe I've ever seen you retire to your chambers for so much as forty winks. However do you keep your eyes from closing? The cold shoulder. You wound me, sir. Always so guarded in our every interaction. Interactions you curiously refrain from sharing with the Scions and their champion. And risk souring your budding relationship? I think not. Much as I dislike you, there are more useful targets for his energies. And I'm not in the habit of pointing him at my enemies like a weapon. Is that right? Fond of him, are you? You continue to fascinate me, Exarch. But tell me, who are you? The once great nation whose ingenuity gave birth to this tower was shaped by my hand. As such, I know full well the wonders it can facilitate and those it cannot. There is nothing in these walls which could have aided you in summoning our dear friend across time and space. Much less in possession of his mortal flesh, not even I could have performed such a feat. I see. You had a hand in Alag as well. You would know what I am? I am the adjudicator of the sacred history with which you dared trifle. I am keeper of this tower's boundless wisdom. The wisdom of ages without age, of everywhere and nowhere. The great work of those who tamed the wings of time and grasped the nature of the rift. Tis a boon born of sacrifices yet unmade. The parting gift of brave heroes who will one day give their lives for a brighter future. I will not see their hopes and dreams squandered. The history which led us here will be unwritten. I promise you that. Well, it seems we're both eager to fulfill our duties, then. On that much, we are in agreement. And we're out of cutscene. Victor Angers? My apologies for the delay. Billy and I have a private man. What bringeth me to the question? How didst thou find Tancred during your He spoke of Minfit. Of his own accord, I see. It is well that he did. Such candor. I attempted to broach the subject before mine intention was to ensure no words unremaineth. Words remain un spoken between this tragedy. A regret I myself know all too well. Alas, in the end, he refused to hear counsel. Time will come when we they must face the reality of their circumstances, but I have faith that all will be well in time. Now, 
Let us not tarry any longer. The Talus and Nabatharang await. Oh. Let's talk to Jerk. Jerk, who is so excited about the Talos. Just thinking about the trolleys painting down the truck, scares worrying, called I can't stop smiling. You've done a kindness great, far greater than we deserve. Thank you. I mean it. Magnus is grinning near to ear. It's been years since I've seen that Talos in that shape. Would that Agna be here? Or a son? I was ready to let her dreams die down there in the mines, even though you'd found a Leonine. I refused to believe that it could work. Gods, what a fool I was. But now, you, but I tell you now, I'm going to take good care of this for both their sakes. On behalf of my family and all the miners of Twine. Thank you. Well, enough to chat that chatter. Let's get you a lot to Navatarang, eh? Everything seems to be in order. I take the Talos presence resolves the issue of the gate. Hmm. Oh, that. Yes. It's designed to open that the Talos approach. Then we can finally go to Nabatharang. You certainly can. All that remains is a final check of the control box over at the mines. You hear that, boys? Get that Talos over to the mines and keep a close eye on it around the curves, understood? Yes, sir. Let us repair to the mines. Before we go, while you're away with Eskos, I prepared an extra set of cartridges for you. And this one, this is the practice cartridge you gave me. I know I should have thrown it away years, ages ago, but I've been adding a little extra to it every day. After so many cartridges, I'm honestly not sure what, what it'll do, but I want you to have it. Good luck. Memphilia. We should hurry. Magnus and the others are probably wondering where we are. Honestly, I really think Dad Craig really should actually talk to her and and be like hey it's okay i've come to grips with it i'm not happy about it yes but <laughs> if this is what you want then do it i'm not gonna stop you this is not my decision to make So much easier to get to these, to the mines by uh, taking the tracks, which is the lower path. But we still have these gnomes and coyotes still hanging around. So this, this is it. We're finally going to Nabatharang. 
I've thought long and hard about what to say to her, the real Memphilia. I hoped when the time come I would know, but every step we take, I feel more uncertain. There's no reason to give up, though. Not when so much is at stake. Thank you, all of you, for helping me to get here. Now, let, now let's not keep Magnus waiting. Believe it or not, it's duty time! There you are. So, you think? A little primitive looking, I'll admit, but the list stoneworks has always favored a simple intuitive design, and that philosophy has served us well enough. Much of the trolley's network uses single tracks and makes it easy for the talus to navigate them as needed. And plotting a route is not so simple, even we can do it, which makes for fewer accidents in transit. Speak of the witch, are you ready to board? All right, then. Watch your step! I believe there's some voice acting. That scene hurt this off. Ariage? Thou must needs carry on without me. The path to Nabatha Rang lieth open. Whilst thou travelest thither to the south, I would apprise Mistress Alize and the others of our progress. As circumstances permit, I will thereafter rejoin the hunt for the remaining Light Wardens. Magnus, will the gate close immediately after the trolley passes through? No, it will stay open until someone closes it manually. Built that way to prevent any untimely accidents. Then you and the others can meet us in Nabatharang, after giving the Ulmorans the slip. Uh, Ariange. Thank you. For everything. Remember, thou needst but have faith. If you've finished with your goodbyes, I suggest you grab hold of something. Be a shame if you took a tumble. The tracks beyond the gate aren't in the best of shape, so the trolley can only go as far as Ammalik. Godspeed! Must be the gate. Well, so far, so good. Wait, is that Ranjit? You're a stubborn old swine, aren't you?
One who has mastered Gukumots fears not the blackest pit or the fieriest hell. Your deeds in the East did not go unnoticed. Long have I lain in wait, and sure enough, you did not disappoint. Had you only sworn fealty to Lord Vorthry, you'd have no cause to skulk about like frightened animals. You will remain as you are, while I dispatch these villains. No. I won't. I won't let you. You forget to whom you speak. Who armed you? Trained you? Fought and killed you were at arms? Who sought out your successor to carry on the futile struggle again and again? We seek to bring peace to what is left of this shattered land, while these mad fools would only bring further chaos down upon us. Do not be deceived, child. Only by Lord Vorthry's hand will this dying world know a sliver of salvation. I don't know about the world, but I never asked to be saved. However much it hurts, and however hard it gets, it's my life, and I want to live it on my own terms! And those mad fools you want me to abandon! The ones I've traveled with, fought with, and may one day die with. They feel the same. So no, I will not be deceived! No matter what you say, I refuse to believe it's all for nothing! They're everything to me! All I have, and all I need. And I would gladly do anything for them! Let us pass, or kill me. I'm not leaving here without them. How dare you! Very well. If you would cast your lot with villains, then you shall share their fate. I heard what you said, and I'm sorry for all the things I've left unspoken. You have to go! Now! Sankret, no! Go! Do what you came here to do! I'll not have you waste that newfound resolve on me. I leave her in your hands. Hurry! Yeah, let's go. Not another step. Your fight is with me. You think yourself her protector? Ta! <laughs> As if a whelp like you could be a better father to her than me. Battle music! The bastardized version of a monk. Turn on the volume over here. <laughs> okay, so here's what I got. I got a duty action. I got a solid barrel combo. So basically, my my main combos attack. I got rough divide for movement. Debula for uh, damage reduction. I got a way to reduce my health. Smackdown. Damage dealt by 10% uh, and accuracy by 100. So.
they get just to they got ten seconds. So I'm going to boom, boom, boom. Just kind of like bang this. Just, just spam one. The right is up. Oh shit.
I, I have nothing I can target. This oh my Bide your time for the next strike.
you would have her suffer and die, I would spare her that fate! That is not for you or anyone else to decide ever again. Not a single day goes by that I don't think about all that you have given me. Countless memories and moments I took for granted. Gods, you grew up so fast. But you had to, didn't you? For those you had lost. For those you could yet save. A world teetering on the very brink of oblivion. For which you gave your everything. Without hesitation. Your kindness. Your compassion. Your love then and now. One last time, with a little help, I'm so proud to have been a part of your life. Oh, Minfilia! With that, open curtain. Go back to it. And I'm actually literally going to end it exactly right here. And we will continue with Menphilia tomorrow. So, stay tuned. I've already gone an extra half hour in this segment. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching. Joining. We'll see you tomorrow for some more MSQ. And those sounds are getting our. Well, they're my DD people talking. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.